Warning, I am not a professional nutritionist and everything I say in this video about nutrition is mostly paraphrased from the Fat Head documentary that is linked in the description and mentioned several times throughout the video. Please take anything I say about nutrition in this particular video with a grain of salt and a generous helping of pepper, as there's a very good chance I got some facts wrong or just misinterpreted some of them. Either way. Morning, Reynold Kirkhope here, and I won't have much remarkable to say today, so... I'm just going to be making a cheese omelette for breakfast. Mostly not going to be... Oh, shit. Dropped an apple on the floor. Give that a good clean. I'll be making an omelette. This floor needs a good... This floor needs mopping. Uh, I'll be making an omelette. Making a cheese omelette. Um, basically, I was... When I when I rewatched that Fat Head documentary that I uh, linked and talked about in one of my earlier vlogs, uh, the one where the thumbnail is mostly red, I forget which day it was. Just it was just, it was just a screenshot from the documentary, and the thumbnail was mostly red. They talked about how uh, the way your body like burns fat, uh, uses your fat reserves, and how putting carbs into your body stops it from doing that. It's part of the principle of why the ketogenic diet works. The one I would have been talking about going on in the near future. But even if you're not on a low carb diet, a low carb breakfast is always very strongly recommended. So I'll be foregoing the usual naan bread that I have underneath my scrambled eggs today and instead making an omelet and putting some cheese in it. Unfortunately, this is that rogue cheese that my fitness pal incorrectly displays the entire salt content as the entire sodium content. So it's gonna be screaming at me all day that I made 100 milligrams over my sodium limit. It is what it is. Not much I can do about that. Bit of salt and pepper in the eggs there. Not too much, though. Especially the salt. <laughs> Don't want much of that. Himalayan salt, though. Nice stuff. And now shredding my own cheese like the, like the help. I, uh, yeah, I can't do this with one hand. And here I've got five milliliters of rapeseed oil. Uh, I've been using crisp and dry, uh, but, you know, lots of other things are the same thing. Uh, in the last few times I've tried to do this, I've tried to do it using the same amount of butter in which I normally scramble my eggs, and therein lay the problem. Butter has too low of a smoke point to actually cook an omelette effectively, so I was trying not to burn it. But hopefully this is going to work a lot better. See, when you make an omelette, you don't want to, you actually want a pretty dry pan. Uh, so you only need your oil to just kind of cover it. Uh, this is just going to need a little more time, I think. Yeah, okay, this one's actually working. I'm actually able to get the I'm actually able to get the uh, slice underneath it. So okay, I have torn it a little, but that's not a big deal. Oop, flipping it. Okay, yeah, cut. Alright, and then going on what is now gonna be the inside of this thing. 60 grams of that cheese. So the reason a high fat breakfast is a good idea is fat literally feeds your brain. Your brain is mostly made of fat. There was a wave of low-fat diets a few decades ago, and along with that was a wave of more and more people suffering from depression, more and more children not being able to concentrate in school, and people suddenly realized, oh, we actually need fat to have a healthy brain. So the other thing with fat is it makes you feel full. Last time I was on keto, I was only eating twice a day on some days, not because I was trying to be responsible or anything, but because I just wasn't getting hungry. It was insane. Just because I was eating a high-fat diet, my I was constantly in a state of feeling sated. Uh, my brain felt incredible. My mood was the highest it had been in a while. Also, partly because I wasn't at work as much, to be fair. And overall, like having having a fairly high having like most of your most of your like daily allowance of fat as early in the day as possible. Is super good for your metabolism because it makes your body start targeting its target its reserves again. Not to the extent that being on like actual ketogenic diet would do. Your body doesn't go into full ketosis or anything, but it is just much better for your metabolism not to have too many carbs in the morning. It's one of the reasons cereal is like so bad for you, and why I just think it's so freaking criminal that cereal is marketed to children, especially even in the UK here where. We've actually changed laws about advertising junk food to kids. You can still put, you can still put cute mascots on the cereal. Bit predatory. Speaking of predatory, remember when the furries came down on Tony the Tiger's Twitter account because it turned out a red bandana stood for 
So Azam, let's go. This is actually pretty basic, but with how many of these I've screwed up lately, it was about time I just went back to the start. Uh, so I'm going to dig in. And I'll, sorry to get this up so early. I know my upload schedule is, well, I, in that I don't have one. I just upload a video every day. I try to. But I'll see you tomorrow.